The United States and allies are warning Iran that major Western economies will pile new sanctions on Tehran if it moves forward with an emerging plan to provide ballistic missiles to Russia for its war. With Ukraine, the White House has raised alarms for months that Russia is seeking close range ballistic missiles from Iran as Moscow needs and struggles to replenish its dwindling supplies. The USA has yet to confirm that missiles have moved from Iran to Russia, but you say officials are alarmed by comments by Iranian officials that suggest that a deal is imminent. One action that the group of seven countries are mulling is to prohibit Iran Air, the country's national air carrier, from flying to destinations in Europe. The official USA is Mulling beyond describing the potential action as significant measures. Were Iran to proceed with providing ballistic missiles or related technology to Russia, we are prepared to react swiftly and in a coordinated manner including with new and more strict significant measures against Iran. The G7 leader said in a statement, Iran's uni, Enver said last month that there are no legal restrictions to prevent it from making ballistic missile sales but that is morally obligated to refrain from weapon transactions during the Russia-Ukraine conflict to prevent fueling the war. The USA and Europe already have imposed extensive sanctions against Tehran targeting individuals as well as limiting the country's access to trade, financial services, energy, technology and other sectors. The Sanctions on Tehran are arguably the most extensive and comprehensive set of sanctions that the United States ever maintain on any country, with thousands of individuals and entities targeted. The White House in January said that U.S. intelligence officials determined a Russian-Iran deal had not been completed but that they were concerned that Moscow's negotiations to acquire missiles from Iran were advancing fast. In September, according to the White House, Iran hosted Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu to present a range of ballistic missile systems a moment that sparked U.S. concern that a deal could come up. Asked why the deal hasn't already been consummated, White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby said he could not speak for the mullahs. Tehran last year completed a deal to buy Su-35 fighter jets from Moscow and has been looking to buy additional advanced military equipment from the country, including attack helicopters, radar, and combat trainer aircraft. According to Washington, the U.S. and other countries have taken steps targeted at thwarting the supply, sale, or transfer involving Iran and ballistic missile-related items, including issuing guidance to private companies about Tehran, missile procurement practices to make sure they aren't inadvertently supporting Iran's development efforts. We've sent very clear messages to Tehran to not do it. This is a subject of considerable conversation among a number of countries in Europe and the United States and I think that the concern about that eventuality and the need to address it, if necessary, is very real and very strong. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told during a press conference on Friday in Vienna, the White House has repeatedly sought to make the case that the Kremlin has become reliant on Iran and North Korea for the arms it needs to fight its war against Ukraine and has disclosed intelligence. Findings that it says show as much an unusual conduct than regular practice. Russia has acquired and used North Korean ballistic missiles against Ukraine. Ukrainian officials, however, say that North Korean missiles when deployed by Russian forces lacks accuracy and frequently missed targets. Russia has received hundreds of one-way strike drones, as well as drone production-related equipment from Iran. According to the White House, the Washington also has accused Tehran of providing Russia with materials to build a drone manufacturing plant east of Moscow. Ran initially denied supplying drones to Russia. Tehran later only acknowledged providing a small number before Moscow launched its war of Ukraine.